it's a lot bigger, right? 10 times bigger. So I am going out this evening with Michael. It's, it's his birthday. It's Friday. Friday, the day of this video going up, but it's Sunday for the time of me recording it. Sunday, August 15th is his birthday. So we are going to go out somewhere to have something nice to eat. I booked somewhere for him. Um, can I tell you now? Yes, I can, because by the time you watch this video, we'll have been and gone. It is Daniel. We went once before years ago, but we're going to go again. Keep my voice down in case you can hear. So I booked for us to go there. It's been a while since I've been there, so it'll be nice, like, romantic evening out. But, yeah, so I thought I'd just take you with me, at least as far as, like, what I'm thinking of wearing, because I'm not too sure. I'll also do a quick review of the Bottega Veneta Jody bag. I have it in the larger size, the one that's pretty big. It's hobo, wide strap, goes on the shoulder. So I'm going to show you what that looks like on. And also just, just a quick review of it, my first impressions of it. I love it, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah, so I need to pick out what I'm going to wear. Um... Speaking of, I am wearing right now my old vintage Levi jeans right here. And then I'm wearing a silk cami, very classic kind of look. The silk cami is by Lily Silk. You know, I've been partnering with Lily Silk for about two, three years now. And this is one of the pieces that I got from them recently. It's just a classic. Why I have not got this recently and why I have not got this years ago, I don't know. Classic black camisole. And it's a love that it's just plain you know it has like a very kind of modern minimalist vibe and as i've said to you before about lily silk their products are a hundred percent mulberry silk they feel so luxe they look so expensive and i think wearing it like this with just a pair of casual just denim straight cut jeans i think that's such a pretty just kind of contemporary look on how to wear them these camis lily silk does a ton of stuff i mean they do pillowcases sleeping um, bonnets for your hair which i also picked up shirts dresses you name it they have quite a large range of silk pieces and i do have a code 15 percent off karen b15 i'll leave it on the screen for you to get 15 percent off anything on lily silk but i just wanted to show you these couple of pieces that came in this was one of them and this is probably one of my favorite i love that it's black and I love that it doesn't have a trim. It's just very, very just plain and it's great. And this is exactly how I would wear it. We're just dressed down with a pair of jeans and I can see it like the blazer when it's cooler. But yeah, that's really cool. And I picked up two more. And I say two more because I already sleep with these. And I just got more colors. These are the silk, 100% silk sleeping caps. And I love these. I have natural hair and I'm always careful to not dry it out and be careful about what I sleep with. And so I have the Lily Silk pillowcases, which are silk. So it's good for your skin, which I really like. So it doesn't dry out your skin overnight and your hair. And also extra protection with the silk cap. As you can see, I got them in two colors and they are just perfect. I, th these are staples for me. I always, always sleep with these you can ask michael <laughs> if i don't but i do always there is not a night i don't elasticated but it doesn't hurt or anything it's just it's, it's perfect actually yeah and they're great they i have to have these if these run out i get more because they are that good and the fact that i've ordered two more not just one but two that speaks volumes i just get them these are really really good and if you're someone who's looking for like something to you know, like protect your natural hair and stop it from drying out then this is it i also got from lily silk this gorgeous drop dead gorgeous kind of mustard burnt orangey yellow kind of colored silk shirt it is i love this silk shirt this probably I think it's probably the my most favorite silk shirt that I have got from Lily Silk. And I have gotten quite a few of them. I just love how this kind of, this I, how would you describe it? It's like a mustardy color, just looks against my skin tone. Um, it's beautiful and warm and look at the sleeves. Look how it just hits the top of my hands. I have long arms and I love that it just sits like that. It's nice and slouchy. I ordered this in a couple of sizes bigger. So that's um, a tip for you. 
camisole underneath and I just sort of just laid it on top so you got like the peak of the silk on silk with the black with that mustard color stunning look at that it's just it's liquid gold it's beautiful and it looks exactly as luxe as you're seeing here in person and again I'm just showing it with jeans just to show how easy this is to just style and just to wear this is going to be such a beautiful color to wear into the next season as well so I'm really looking forward to styling this with everything autumnal, jewel toned for the next season, but it's beautiful. And they also do bed linen as well, bed sheets. So if you wanna like just engulf yourself in luxurious silk, 100% silk, then this is your opportunity with the code. Like I said, 15% off on Lily Silk. I'll leave the code for you below. It is Karen B 15. Yeah, let me know what you get. But it is is a reason why I've been like, you know, using their products for so long. Those sleeping caps, this cami, um, this is, I should have got this years ago, honestly. Such a good basic. Uh, God knows why it took me so long. But this with like a black skirt, it's going to look like a long black dress. I also got this pillowcase from Lily Silk. I told you before about sleeping with silk pillowcases. It just feels really nice on your skin. It doesn't drag your skin like um, cotton does. So I love this. I got this in this like a really pretty kind of Prussian blue color. It's funny because our sheets at the moment are striped and this has stripes in it as well. So this is really nice to get. And also if your hair happens to be on it as well, same thing like with your skin, it just doesn't dry it out. Okay, so I wanted to come on here and talk about my clothing line that dropped August 10th. I wanted to first and foremost say thank you to everyone who bought something from that because I I didn't know how it was going to go. I've never done a clothing line before and I loved doing it. I loved going through the experience of it. I learned a lot from it. I've never done it with Amazon before. I've never just done it, period. And I didn't know how it was gonna go because I've never done it before. I didn't know what the experience was gonna be like. I didn't think, I didn't know if anyone was gonna buy the pieces or or the opposite, you know, and it ended up being the opposite where I came up with six pieces and five out of six pieces sold out. There were just a few left in the zebra blouse and that was it. But yeah, it was just a really massive success. And I want to say thank you very much to anyone who bought any of the pieces. I loved doing it. It was great. It was a good experience. And I love the pieces that I created and I'm going to be wearing them throughout the whole of next season. So yeah, it was, it was I designed things that I would want to wear and it resonated with a lot of you. And I just can't believe that the pants sold in a matter of minutes and Amazon gave me 30 hours to sell the pieces and to the fact that those went so fast and then the dress went right behind it and then it was just the two blouses left. It was just insane. Thank you very much for all of that. One thing I do want to say is in terms of like restocks and stuff, because I get asked that a lot, especially about the pants. When I did this collection, it is a 30 hour window only. And then that is it. It is not available ongoing to just keep buying and buying. The only way you can get your hands on one of the pieces is when people receive the item and then they return it. So that will happen. There will be um, a percentage of returns. So you're going to have to wait until everyone receives their pieces. When do they receive them? Um, I believe it's going to take about three weeks, three, three and a half to three weeks, something like that. It takes quite a while. It's not like Amazon Prime where you get it the next day um, to get your to get your piece. So and the, the drop happened on August 10th. So just count like three and a half weeks ish from that date. That's when you can start looking out for people to receive the items and then do returns. Speaking of returns, one thing that I will offer to you guys is I would like you, whoever gets the pieces and you want, you're unhappy with the size that you've got, maybe you wish you got a size down or a size up. I'm going to offer my Facebook group, my Where Did You Get That Facebook page as an opportunity as like a forum really for you guys to all talk amongst each other this is for people who bought the pieces and you can literally swap with each other so i'll leave a link to my facebook below and i just thought that would be a really helpful way to have another chance at getting the piece that you actually want because nine times out of ten you won't be able to see your size on amazon 
but I knew, and you ended up being stuck with the wrong one. So my Facebook will be the last opportunity, I think, for you to do a shout out and say, hey, I got a size medium in the cargo and I need it in a size large does anyone have it and other people will be able to do the same so you can swap or even if you just don't like the size that you got and you just want to return it you can use my facebook to sell it to somebody else who may actually want it and they didn't get a chance to purchase it because a lot of people said i can't believe i missed the drop i wasn't able to get anything please karen are you going to be selling anything again this is your opportunity to pass on the kindness and to yeah just sell it on my facebook i'm going to not be a part of like the managing of the whole like buying selling shipping that's not going to be for me i'm just going to offer my facebook as a page for you guys to see each other and talk to each other swap with each other buy from one another and that's it so i'm going to show you the um bottega bag i have been eyeing this for a while now and as you saw in last week's video you've been seeing me wearing it so i thought i'd do a quick like first impressions what i've been thinking of it this is the large size there is a size up from this which you can literally wear crossbody it's massive it's so big this is not that size um it is what i would call it's still the large size but there is a size down from this that you can also wear on your shoulder but that's not this one i tried that one on and it was it just sat too high up and it just looked too small i wanted something that was kind of oversized looking but still was practical so i went with this particular size i'll leave the dimensions on the screen so you can you can see exactly the one that i got the color of this is called grape so it looks almost like it's a purple but it's like in person if you see this and i'm looking at it i think it's kind of coming out true i'm shooting on the iphone it looks almost like like a Bordeaux burgundy color and it's finished with a gold hardware. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love that gold with this beautiful jewel kind of color. I know you guys already know how I feel about jewel tones already. I just talked about that ad nauseum. I love the signature knot and the fact that it's got this very wide strap. I love how that wide strap looks on the shoulder like whether i'm wearing a blazer or whether i'm wearing just anything really that is it hold on let me just tuck let me tuck my buttons karen come on you're on youtube this is how it looks i just think it's so pretty together i love that this is just completely plain and this wide leather here i love that i just think it looks really really nice and sometimes i wear it just like this so it's this way around, which I think is back to front, but I don't know. I think when it's your bag, it's whatever you want it to be. I love this the look of just seeing like this width of just wide leather here. And that's all you see. There's no hardware at all. You just get a flash of the hardware from the actual, you know, the, the zip. And I wear it that side or I wear it on this side. I don't really have a preference. Feels a little bit easier on this side because the knot narrows the strap. It is one large open compartment here and it's leather lined it's all leather inside and it has one gigantic inside zip pocket huge also gold zip massive it's so deep <laughs> this inside pocket it's the largest inside pocket i've ever seen on a bag designer or not very comfortable perfect for fall that's why i got it i wanted something to wear for the next season and I've already started wearing it already because I just think it's so comfortable, so why not? It's just the first impressions of it. I traveled with it to California last week and I used it and I thought it was amazing just to use. So it was just great just to have it. Um, it was the perfect size to carry everything I needed for a flight and it was still comfortable as well because the strap is so wide, even though you know I was wearing it on my shoulder, it was perfectly comfortable because of that. So I really like that about it. And yeah, it's just a perfect hobo -y shape. I do not have anything like this in my closet. My Free People bag, the one with all the mirrors on it, that's a very summery kind of bag. I got that about six years ago. Uh, I love that bag, but it's a very hippie kind of summer bag. I wanted something that was just more practical that I could wear year round, especially going into like this season we're going into next. And this was perfect. I went into the Bottega store, tried on different ones, different colors, different sizes. And I like this size the best. 
and I liked this color the best because I thought it was such an unusual rich take on a dark leather bag instead of wearing a black bag I like the idea of wearing something that's like a rich jewel tone with the flash of the gold here uh, the zip which is just, I love that it's just like a nice simple thing and I like the fact also that it's just devoid of any logos you don't know what bag this is it's just a nice quality leather handbag and I thought that was great about it but that's it really like I said I've hit the ground running with this thing I just think it's great I think that's a good test whenever you get something and you just start using it straight away and this has been that I love how it looks contrasted with light colored blazers it looks amazing you know even I can see with my camel coat later even with my gray coat later because that rich burgundy kind of jewel tone color it comes in lots of different colors I'll show you on the screen here but I fell in love with this particular one. It's dark, rich, lush, luxe looking. I had compliments from Essays last week when I went to a couple of shops. They said, oh my God, I love that bag. It really is beautiful in person. And I did do a little like, wow, when I was in the store and I tried it on because it just looks so nice. But that is it. That's like a quick, easy review of the bag. Now I need to figure out what am I going to wear? But gorgeous really nice it's not too too heavy at least not for me this is how it compares to my mini jody so you can see for size comparisons the difference <laughs> it's a lot bigger right 10 times bigger great this is great for like evenings out and this is good for like everything else like during the day so really glad i got this okay so option number one this is what I wore when we went to uh, St. Bart's. I picked this up over there. It was on sale. Absolutely stunning, this dress. I don't know if it's a bit too much. Because it's a restaurant. But I love it. I don't know. Is this too much? Leave your comments below. Like, give me like your yeses or nos on these options. But here's one. I'll show you the Bottega with it. The little parakeet colour. Because I love that combination. And I wore this exact combination when I was in... St. Bart's and I just loved it together so I don't know something very simple hair slicked back I love it. it feels kind of really chic yeah I know do I go with this let me just try another look okay same color but different silhouette what do you think of this as an option it is actually a two-piece but I'm wearing it like it's looks like a long dress but it's not this is from Zara I found um, this skirt was on clearance this I don't think was but this was that's the look together I think this is the first time I bought a clothing from Zara in months so I saw this I thought it was so pretty to wear this way as a set same bag because I just love the look it was colorful colorful look together so I don't know what do you think this instead I feel like this is a bit more casual but it still looks kind of sexy and it's sexier I feel like the other one is a bit more kind of like gala or something something really upscale not that it isn't the restaurant is it's an upscale restaurant but i feel like you could get away with this to an upscale restaurant so and just put it like a heel so which do you like the full or do you like this kind of more of a slinky kind of vibe and i'll just wear it with heels let me know what you think the back is just oh my gosh i've got to take the tag off it <laughs> the tags because i these are brand, brand new but uh, that's the back, you can see right there. But um, yeah, I love this look. I just think it's really just kind of slinky. Um, but it's, it's nice too. So what do you think? What do you think between the big blue dress or this kind of slinkier two-piece? So this is another option, which is to wear the, uh, switch out the skirt for this from Topshop. It needs pressing though. But I thought about this, I wouldn't wear these shoes. But I'm just showing you just the idea of uh, something with some height. So it's all the jewel tones. Cobalt with this emerald green. Really beautiful. This is such a nice, gorgeous skirt. I'll insert a couple of pictures so you can see how I've worn it on my Instagram. Um, but I love this skirt. It's really a wow. Um, and it has like this long kind of wrap effect here. And it's longer on one side here it drops longer on this side it's really really pretty so this is our third option if i want to go with something a bit more colorful not as, you know just to break up all the monotone of black I can't even stand straight i haven't even had a drink yet anyway what do you think of this let me know third option okay and here's another option 
I think this is, Ula, this is an Ula Johnson dress. I love this. I call this like my princess Grecian goddess dress. It's beautiful pleating details throughout. This boning corset here is really nice. Thin spaghetti straps, ties here on the shoulders. Beautiful peachy kind of color, kind of like a tiered, multi-tiered skirt. You can see I don't have any shoes on with it, but I'll probably just wear like a again like a simple kitten heel or something um yeah so i'm trying to decide what i would which one to go with i'm just holding my fendi beaded bag right now this is the vintage one i picked this up from bestia collective so what do you think which of the look tell me which one i should go with i mean obviously this is pre-recorded so by the time you watch this i will have already decided what i'm gonna wear leave a comment below of which you would have chosen and which one you like on me the best this is such a good dress this dress is about two years old maybe three years old something like that and i just held on to it because it's just absolutely stunning we have to get ready to leave in 10 minutes okay oh you're ready okay oh my god what am i gonna wear you have arrived at your destination we have arrived at our destination This is such a treat. We haven't been here in a long time. I know. It's been ages since we've been to this restaurant. Love it. Okay, so I couldn't describe what this is for our appetizer because he said it way better than, than we could. Yeah, yours is like a lobster langenstein and mine is like skittles. Ravioli. And yours, yeah. is, yours is not skittles. Stop calling it skittles. <laughs> But it's um it's stuffed peppers. I know that much. Um, I'm not sure what these are. These yellow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's bottoms up. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she says. Happy anniversary there. It's our anniversary. Our anniversary and my friends. Thank you.